So right now, what I'm doing, I'm gonna try to remove the the main board and you know and things like that. Um, this is the new cable I put in. I just put it up here like this, so I have it ready. So when I get the new case in, I put it in. Okay, the, the motors, they have four screws on the bottom. That's how you remove these. The only thing that I, you know, that's the thing that I don't like is, um, you see how this is all connected? These wires, you know, the motors are connected, uh, connected, they're soldered there. I think they shouldn't have built them like that. I think they should have just built it with a, uh, some kind of connector that maybe snaps together so you can easily just uh, change the motors because if you have to replace this yourself, you know, you have to remove the solder and all this glue and crap like that. So maybe they just did it because they didn't want it to slip out, but you know, this is all connected, okay? And then you have the LED lights under here, also connected to that. Now, the way they connected these LED lights is um, they used the plastic for, for the, um, the cover bottom the bottom cover and what they did is heat the protruding plastic that's sticking up they just like heat it down and like kind of like smushed it down so it comes out like what I did over here was I removed it on this side by um, using a soldering iron and just melting off the plastic See, that's how I'm gonna remove it. I'm just gonna use a soldering iron to remove that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this with my, <coughs> my holding the camera just to show you what I'm doing to remove the <coughs> the lights, the LED light. I took the soldering gun and just stick it in there like that. See how that? It just removed the po top portion on the uh, plastic there. And there's two of two of them, one there and there's one on like right under there. So you kind of like gotta move the wiring a little bit. And then um, I just pop it up with a screwdriver. It comes right out. <coughs> it's basically off right now. So that's what I'm doing to remove the the lights. So I'm just taking a screwdriver and. Uh, Popping them up like that, see, it, just, it comes out pretty easy as long as you remove the <clears throat> the plastic that's holding it down. See? I think the two hardest things to to remove is it's only gonna be this. Just need a soldering gun. It's really not hard. You just use a soldering gun, but I think you know for some people it may be hard. You know, maybe you have a soldering gun, whatever. And the hardest things to remove is <clears throat> the top part of the shell. That's the hardest part. But everything else is should be easy to remove. You know, to remove the motherboard here, you just remove four screws. There, that one's already off. Uh, and the motors, you just remove from the four screws on the bottom. To remove the motors, you remove these four screws here. One, two, three, four. Those remove the motors. These these screws that I already took them off is to remove the shell, the top portion of the shell. It would be here, 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 and there's one in there. That one's kind of tricky to get off because you gotta like take off the legs. I mean the landing gear, you know, because like the angle, it's hard to get in there. So you remove the leg. I just put the screws back on so I can hold it, stand it up. Okay, now, so <clears throat> I got the motors off. Now, uh, next thing you want to do is get these antennas off. This two antennas, I believe, one on this and one on this. And I think, I'm not sure what this is. I think it's for GPS. It's, I'm not sure what antenna that's for. But anyway, this little rubber piece, you can see it there. 
you want to like push it out. See how I'm pushing it out from the bottom. <coughs> you can just push that out of there from the landing gear. Try to get it up. See, I'm gonna get out the way. Now you can get the antenna right out of that slot there. See? So you can do the same thing on the other side. There's another one there. Make sure you disconnect the connectors like the GPS one. The GPS is actually on top of the shell. See the connector? GPS is under this protective thing here. So you gotta, <clears throat> if you're exchanging your shell, you gotta peel this off and stick it back on the other one. And uh, there's another connector here, the compass. It says it says them, the name. And you got the uh, two other connectors here. You got the battery connector. So I'm gonna leave this one like this. This is the brand new one. And disconnect these. Okay, so now I flipped it upside down. Away from the casing. So now you have to get these. There's two screws here for the battery connection there. You gotta get those out. So that's it. I removed the main board. It's connected to the motors, the LED lights and the battery connector here see got that out and you're left with the shell here which has this compartment here which I uh, battery compartment here which I had to order it has four screws holding this down I had to reorder this which was three bucks because these these things on the top that hold the screws, that hold the motherboard screws, they popped off. So I had to order that and this is the case. So after you remove the four screws, there's one screw there, one there, and there's two on that side. You'll be able to remove this battery compartment case here. And you, you're gonna see the two antennas here. That goes straight down the front here. And these connect to the gimbal. So these, I gotta remove these. these I think they, they're glued on or whatever. So I'm gonna have to uh, use some silicone or something to glue these back on the other one so I'm gonna leave these until I get the case okay one thing is uh, see this little piece here this piece belongs right there this was rattling around inside I didn't know uh, what it where it belonged to when I opened it up, I found this piece rattling around. It took me a while to figure it out where it, where it goes. It goes right facing downward like that. That's the piece that you sync up the remote control in the bottom. You'll see the other the hole where it actually uh, syncs up. Uh, I think you press the button there. I think that's a button or something like that. It's a little hole or something. No, 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 it's not a button. It just, it, it, that's what connects to the remote, I think, and it syncs up the remote, something like that. But anyway, just letting you know, because this piece could get lost easily. Uh, I'm not sure if the new case comes with this, but you wouldn't want to lose this. So you're pretty much left, like I said, with the um, these two antennas here. I think they're silicone down, just take them right off. And the wires come out through the front area. And you're left with this piece here, which is, this is the USB connection. Look in the front. See? And this cable that's coming out here, this antenna cable here, I think that's the compass. I think that is the compass. 
That's for the compass, yeah. That's the compass antenna wire or whatever. Okay, so that's it. You know, it's not that hard. 